I might be a little late on this topic, but I wanted to comment on the backlash against Adobe for testing a price increase for their cheapest Photoshop subscription plan, which has doubled in some instances from $10 to $20 per month. So is it time to start looking for a Photoshop alternative? Let's find out. First, I wanna say that there are lots of ways that people use Photoshop. So I'll try to cover how this change affects at least a few of the major categories of Photoshop users. Personally, I believe that Adobe has the right to charge what they want. They're constantly upgrading Photoshop and other CC products with some useful features that I really like. I don't mind paying a monthly subscription considering how much I use Photoshop and the other Creative Cloud applications on a daily basis. They haven't raised the price for my plan yet, but I'm sure it's only a matter of time before they do. So let's say hypothetically my plan increased from around $52 a month to $100 a month. Honestly, I really wouldn't care because I'm a professional artist, so paying a monthly subscription for Adobe is just another business expense that I can write off on my taxes. If you fall into this category, then you're probably like, eh, whatever. I don't see any reason to stop using Photoshop if you can afford the subscription fee. But what if you're not a professional who can write off a large expense like Photoshop? Well, then you probably shouldn't be using Photoshop. What? Well, because you could be using something like Corel Paint Shop Pro or Affinity Photo, which are much more affordable and can do most of what Photoshop can do. So yeah, you should dump Photoshop if an alternative like Paint Shop Pro or Affinity Photo can do everything that you need it to do. But I think most of you who I have heard from are specifically artists and painters who use Photoshop, so that's really who I wanna to speak to today. If you've been using Photoshop for some time, then I'm sure you know that Photoshop's painting features are often neglected in favor of updating the image editing aspects of Photoshop. And rightfully so, because Photoshop is an image editing application. I personally do not use Photoshop for painting, but I can see how a monthly subscription is not much value for artists who only use Photoshop for making art. Price increases are something that happens often, and as much as I get annoyed by it myself, complaining really doesn't get you anywhere. So let me offer you an easy alternative to paying more for Photoshop. Honestly, there isn't any reason to pay a monthly subscription fee for Photoshop if you're only using it as a tool for making digital art. You can download Krita, which is free. Krita can do most of what Photoshop can do. It can do a lot of things better than Photoshop. So why not go with something like that? Or if you wanna pay for software, you can get Clip Studio Paint or any number of other digital art applications that are way more affordable than Photoshop that you don't have to pay a subscription fee for. My favorite happens to be Corel Painter. The point here is that there are loads of free applications out there that in many ways are better than Photoshop for digital painting. Now don't get me wrong, I use Photoshop in my workflow all the time, but I use it as an image manipulation tool. I don't use it for painting. I'll do all my painting in Corel Painter or Rebel or any digital art app, not Photoshop. Just because Photoshop has painting tools and a lot of artists happen to use it, doesn't mean that Photoshop is the best tool for digital painting. Now I'm not trying to insult any of my fellow artists out there who prefer Photoshop. I can see the advantages of using Photoshop over something else. But speaking from my own personal preference, it's not a bad art application, but it's not something that I would recommend to everyone. There really isn't a best art application for everyone. Each of us have to try a variety of applications until we find one that fits. The real reason why your favorite artist uses Photoshop isn't because it's the best digital art application out there, it's because it was the best digital art application and they just don't wanna learn a new application. And how could you blame them? If they're able to finish their work and be successful using Photoshop, then there really isn't any reason to switch to a different program. But you are not them. So if you're a digital artist who was using Photoshop, ditch Photoshop and get a digital art application that is meant for digital art and not just a general purpose tool. Now I know the backlash against Adobe is not just limited to the price increase. Adobe has also removed access to older versions of their Creative Cloud software. Now I'm not gonna get into the details of this topic because I wanna keep this video concise and focused on art, but that sounds like a really difficult position to be in for both Adobe and its users. Feel free to discuss this more in the comments. If you want some more info on Photoshop alternatives for digital art, check out my in-depth reviews of digital art software. Just click on the links you see at the end of this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.